Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we're gonna talk about SEO on VIX, how to optimize your website, how to rank your website better in the search engine like Google, Yahoo, uh, whatever search engine people are using, most likely Google. So what we're gonna do is walk you through how to do your more advanced SEO for your Wix website. And this was requested by a viewer, so I sat myself down and said, it's time to make more content for VIX SEO since my last video did pretty well and I think a lot more people want the more advanced version on how to actually rank your website better, more advanced and how to actually get into the nitty and gritty to make sure that your website actually ranks for the keywords you want to. So let's just jump straight into the video and hopefully you guys enjoy. If you learned something new, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content and feel free to comment. I do read your comments, I do reply to every comment I can and if you have a good idea for a video, I'll make sure to do it. So just like this video, this video is requested by a viewer, so that is why this video is happening. Unless that comment never came in, I would never made this video. So make sure to comment if you want to learn something specific and I'll make sure to get into that. But let's get right into this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new website since I don't wanna show you any of my clients and I don't wanna show you any of my personal websites. So I'm just gonna go ahead and decide what website I'm gonna do, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's say we are a business. So let's just pick a template real quick. Um, uh, 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 uh. We are a construction company, seems good. Let's edit that one. And what I usually try to prioritize while I'm doing my more advanced SEO, um, of course, SEO takes a long time to, to learn. Uh, there's a lot of different steps. Google takes a look at so many different variables that you really want to make sure that you try to uh, check as many of these options as possible. Uh, today I'm going to try to go more advanced, so we are going to cover uh, some of the more advanced steps. Uh, but just as any other website, you want to make sure that your content is optimized correctly uh, with the right tags when it comes to your text. So let's say this website is your website as of right now. You have yourself your header uh, where you talk about whatever your company, where you introduce people to whatever you do uh, as your brand, business, whatever you're doing, right? Uh, the thing you wanna prioritize while doing the first step is you wanna make sure uh, that your H1 uh, and your H2 tags are correct set up. So these tags are tags you pick directly into your text uh, and this, this, what these tags essentially do is tells Google what text you want to prioritize. Where a H1 text is gonna be the most important uh, tag of your page uh, and the H2 tags are gonna be uh, lower prioritized, H3 tags and so on and so on and so on. So let's say this is our main text for a construction company in New York. What I would do in order to rank for, let's say, uh, the keyword construction company New York uh, or some other keyword related to your business. And what you really have to do is go and do your keyword research. And how to go do keyword research, I can talk about that in another video if you want me to. Uh, but let's just take a quick look at construction company New York. Oh, let's make sure it's correctly spelled. Uh, let's see how many searches we get per month. Uh, he's not gonna tell me. Uh, but yeah, I feel like construction company New York is a good keyword. Uh, the reason why I feel like it is a good keyword right now without doing any research is that uh, people search for a construction company and they know what city they want your construction company to be in. So if your construction company is in New York and you work with clients in New York, what you want to do is make sure that you have that local keyword because people searching for a construction company uh, are not gonna be, uh, they, they don't have to be where you are based, right? Uh, when I search construction company now, I get related to, uh, construction companies in my area, which is Thailand right now, which I'm uh, working from 
and if I would have been in Sweden I would have gotten Swedish construction companies and you don't have to be like uh, companies in your area right so if you target construction company only uh, you are gonna rank for clients that are not only not interested in your business and your local area uh, the keyword itself is also gonna be very competitive compared to a local keyword which is construction company in New York so let's go ahead and pick this as our introduction uh, title and let's make sure it's actually white as well it matches the uh, all right it's gonna stay like gray whatever uh, and as of right now if you do click on edit your text uh, you can see that this title right now is a, actually a H3 title but you want it to be a H1 so make sure you edit your text and make sure it's on H1, heading one. And you can also go ahead and just redesign this if you want to. Let's make it 40, color white, uh, looks great. And you probably wanna capital, capitalize these uh, keywords as well, doesn't really matter. Our first text on the website is gonna be construction company in New York. You are a construction company, you want people, new clients to come to your company and you know that a lot of people search for a construction company in New York. So this is the keyword you probably want to target. Uh, but please go ahead and do your research. If you have a dog kettle or if you do like uh, uh, clothing uh, in your local area, you probably want to do use another keyword, right? So make sure you, ha you are using the right keyword for your business. Okay, so we got Construction Company New York as our H1 title. Let's scroll down and let's see what else we have on our site. So services, this is a H2 title, which is correct. So we can keep that as a H2 title. Uh, under services, we're gonna have these three different uh, services that our company is gonna offer. When we edit these texts, we probably want these headings to be H3 since they're under our H1 and let's change it to 20 so it looks okay and it doesn't matter how how the text looks uh, the most important part is that your text uh, has the right tag uh, the way it looks is not going to affect uh, anything about your uh, about your tags it's just about actually having the right tag on the text uh, so these are going to be H3 tags under a H2 tags and this is going to tell Google that H2 is basically the, the title for the H3 tags that are going to be under it, right? Uh, and the text right here is just going to be a paragraph text. Uh, if we keep scrolling down, we've got another uh, about text and this text you probably want to have as a H2 title. When you scroll down, if there are any other titles under this H2 tag, so let's say about, and you have different categories under your about, you wanna make these titles uh, H3. So let's say we would have another text right here. Uh, I would make this one H3 tag. And let's say you divide your about section into like different uh, things your company focuses on you would make this a H3 tag and put it under your H2 tag. It doesn't have to be like that, but that is how I structure my text. Um, and then just keep going down. These would probably be H3 or if not uh, H4 tags, uh, because these are not really tags you wanna prioritize that much. Uh, and then just keeps going, keeps going. So that is how you wanna start off optimizing your texts and Google really scans the text. This, Google doesn't see your images. All Google sees in your images is the, the title of the image uh, and the other tags you have in your images. Other than that, Google is basing your website on the text on it. So make sure your text or your code is correct. Now when it comes to Wix, the code is not gonna be as important because you don't really have a lot of control over it. But what you want to do is make sure that your text is correct and focuses on the keywords you want to rank for. So if we continue our, our main page right here, if you want to focus on construction company New York, uh, what we want to make sure is that this uh, tag or this keyword uh, shows up a lot more places than just one place on our website. As of right now, Google knows that your H1 tag is the most important, so 
this web page is, is based around construction company New York. Uh, that is basically what Google can tell from you using that H1 tag. While moving forward, what you wanna do is make sure you put this keyword in other places on this page. Uh, and this can be, uh, as an example, pre-construction planning. You write about pre-construction planning, uh, like blah, 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 uh, we do this, blah, 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 as a, and then you would probably add somewhere in the text as a construction company in New York. And that is gonna tell Google that, oh, once again, this keyword shows up, which tells Google, oh, this website has the right information for this keyword, which makes Google wanna show your website under that specific keyword. And this is just one of the things Google take a look at, but it's really important that you have your keyword in multiple places on your website. So I'm gonna do this real quick and show you what it will look like. Okay, so this is an example text of how the text could look like. So the, the H3 tag is pre-construction planning and the text is effective pre-construction services and planning is the cornerstone of a successful construction project. Hire the best construction company in New York for your next project. So what I did in this text is I added the keyword we want to rank for in the text of the website. And this is just one place of the website. You want to add this keyword in uh, more places throughout your website. And you also wanna make sure that you add them both in your H3 and your H2 tags as well. Uh, what is kind of hard is that you don't wanna overuse your tags. You don't wanna just make a page where you spam your keyword everywhere because Google is just gonna see your website as spam and you're not gonna be able to rank. Uh, this is how people used to rank websites before Google got more advanced. Uh, but today, in today's SEO market, what you really, really want to do is be very conservative with your use of the tags, uh, but you still wanna make sure that you're using them. So what I would do is probably plonk the, t uh, the, the keyword down in some of the places throughout the page. And I would also write a lot more content that's on this page right now. Uh, this text right here is kind of long, so that is really great, but I would probably add only at least two or three more of, uh, of these sections. I would probably use them three more times just to get even more content on the website, more text content. And what Google really takes a look at is how, how many times you use the keyword compared to how much text you have on the website. So let's say your text is 99% just the keyword and the other, other percent is like the and whatever other words you've been using. Uh, Google gonna see this as bad, but let's say you're using the keyword, let's say 5% in your text, in the total text of your page, Google is not gonna see that as spammy, right? So you kinda wanna just think logically uh, what looks normal, does this keyword fit in this text or does it just look weird? Uh, make sure you take a look at that before you move forward uh, with your text. So that is basically how you should think when you do your texts on Wix in order to rank for your specific keywords. I realized that this video became a lot longer than I wanted it to, so I'm gonna make this into a series where I talk about different aspects of your Wix SEO that you should follow in order to rank your website under specific keywords. In the next video, we're gonna talk about optimizing your speed on your website in order to make your website as fast as possible, since Google really likes websites that load really fast and you as a user really like a fast loading websites as well if a website takes 10 seconds to load you're not gonna stay on that website you're just gonna leave and move to another website if you have any questions around this video today if you have any questions about how to use your tags uh, how to write your text or whatever uh, make sure to comment it down below i'll make sure to answer it as fast as possible and if you want me to help you make your website on wix rank better make sure to check out my link down below where you can get personal service from me where I try to help you rank for specific keywords. But that is gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Thank you for watching.